average person, Barnegat Bay and Little Lake Harbor look beautiful and pristine. But if you look closer, locals say there is evidence that the bay's ecosystem is in dire straits. A lot of people um, that don't come here every day say, how is Barnegat Bay being impaired? And you can definitely see people that live around here, you can tell that there's, that the bay is dying. Experts agree. A recent Rutgers report that studied the health of the bay over many years painted a bleak picture. It found that the ecosystem is declining and getting worse. The bay is dying. It's literally choking to death on pollution, um, lack of oxygen, um, nitrogen and phosphorus from, um, from our um, uh, fertilizers and from the acid rain. As a result, fish and other animals that live in the bay are on the decline. Meanwhile, jellyfish are on the rise. We're headed towards having the bay become nothing but a cesspool of algae and stinging jellyfish. Today, you're not really seeing the eelgrass on the beaches. There are no barnacles on the pilings. There aren't really as many crabs as we used to have. The size of the crabs is not really there. Environmentalists say the source of the problem is overdevelopment and runoff. Unfortunately, uh, because of development and people using land use practices from the northern part of the state, for example, or other places, they plant a lawn which don't naturally occur here. And then they apply fertilizers, which include a lot of nitrogen. And that runs off into the river and into the bay. Save Barnegat Bay helped to draft legislation that Governor Christie supported, which calls for the most restrictive standards in the nation for nitrogen content in fertilizer. And the governor proposed a 10-point initiative to restore and protect the bay. But Forsberg Wenzel says that's not enough. We've been waiting for the DEP to declare it impaired so that, that certain standards in the Clean Water Act can take effect, which would slow down overdevelopment, the massive development that's happening in the estuary, and also require uh, certain government agencies to create what we call a diet for the bay. That diet would place a daily limit on how much pollution would be permitted into the waterway. Environmentalists say improving storm water control systems and preserving open space will also help to protect the bay. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Lavalette.